All right. I'm not sure if this is gonna work because I'm in kind of a spotty sunlight area, but I think I found a shady spot. Um, and I'm not sure how good the sound is in here, but I figured let the let's just let's just go with it. Let's just wing it. Let's just get started. Uh, I have pigtails going on, which I am really not sure work for me or not. Um, I did pigtails on all the girls this morning and Ellie said, how come you never wear pigtails, mom? And I said, because they're kind of like a little girl thing, but I don't really like to talk about stuff like that so much. And she said, I think that they would look good. And I said, okay, we'll do some. And then I didn't think I'd be coming out in public. And I certainly didn't think I'd be making a video, but I feel like I'm trying so hard lately to tell them to not care about what other people think. And I'm I really shouldn't feel so self-conscious either. I'm wearing my hair in pigtails like I'm 12 and, or maybe like I'm six. Yeah, probably more like that. So uh, I also, it also strikes a like Harley Quinn slash Baby Spice sort of a thing, which I have no, no qualms with Harley Quinn or Baby Spice necessarily, but those are just not, it's not kind of my persona that I'm trying to like reflect here. Oh, I'm babbling, but I think that this whole video might be kind of a babble because honestly, I don't really have a theme here. I just feel like I need to talk to you guys. It's just been a long time since we have talked and I've been really distant for a really long time. And I feel like whenever I talk about the hard times on social media, you guys say, you guys, you guys say, you need to take a step back and you need to take time for yourself. And in my mind, I say, that's so sweet, but I feel like I've been taking step back after step back after step back. And at some point, I have to make money and the step back, you know, has to, I, I, I like stepping forward to be with you guys too, because believe it or not, um, having you guys in my life and having your support and your answers and your thoughts and your influence is really, really a positive thing for me way more than it is negative. And I feel like, um, it's not stressful. You guys do not stress me out. Um, I stress myself out because I am struggling with a lot of my own mental blocks and, um, you know, things that and tell me that, you know, it's going to be bad for some reason, or it's going to hurt somebody, or it's going to bring a bunch of haters, or it's going to, so no matter what I put out there, if I feel like I talk about how, how rough things are, people say, oh, you should get help, or you should take a step back. And if I talk about how good things are, people say, well, you're not really being honest about, you know, how hard your life is because you're, you know, you've been through all these things. And so you really should be more upfront and, and straightforward. And if I, you know, am I just kind of have this middle ground and people tell me that I'm different and I'm not really sharing, you know, the same sort of Emily that I used to be. And you know what, I really am different. And as much as I um, love the things that I started doing on my blog and I wanna get back to just doing the stuff that I love that just makes my heart happy, um, I really, really need to talk about the hard stuff in my life because that is part of my healing process. Um, part of me sharing the hardest parts of what I've been through helps me heal and helps me realize that there maybe was a purpose behind the things that I faced. And I feel like all of us are that way. Like if we can I have to stay back or I'm in the light and it's all weird. Um, but I feel like part of us being able to get over the things, not, not get over, get through, um, a lot of the things that really hold us back, that really keep our minds hostage and our confidence hostage and our self awareness and our self love and and it's that keep us from our, you know, owning our truth and following our bliss and all that kind of stuff are, a lot of the things are, they come from other people, um, but we're the ones that let them stick with us and influence us. And we're the ones that keep them to a point where they're controlling us. And I'm not saying this out of um, experience that because I've overcome this, I'm saying that this is because something that I struggle with all the time. And I don't know if I'll ever really be able to get over that. I know I talk about, I mean, I've, I've read stories from people that used to have a really hard time, you know, caring about what other people think, and now they're free of that. And that seems like an impossible thing to me. And so I'm glad for them that they've reached that point. But, but I think that part of, of letting people, um, you know, dictate how we feel part of that is it's kind of like expectations on a vacation. Like if, 
Uh, people say don't have expectations because you won't be let down if stuff doesn't happen, but you you have expectations about your trip or you wouldn't be going on the trip. Like you you are expecting, you are planning this trip because you're expecting to have fun or you're planning this trip because you're expecting to get drunk or you're expecting to have a girl's party or something. Like you have some expectations that you can't just totally get rid of. And so yes, you can't like wake up in the day and say, you know, I don't expect anything out of today because things are going to happen and you're going to be blindsided either way. So it's good to try and prepare for stuff that, you know, rough stuff that might happen, but also start by looking for the good in everything. I don't, I don't know where this is going. I'm sorry, but from my own standpoint, um, when I go to share things lately, I feel like I have so much to say, um, that I just can't, get it all out there and that makes me nervous because I, I want to explain myself so well that I'm not misunderstood and because I feel like so many of the um, confusion or speculations people might have about me have to do with um, me not being able to share the whole story and, and they just speculate and assume and come up with you know these these variances of of like the truth and and um, everything that that people have ever anything that that people have ever been able to be critical of really is because they don't know the whole story and that's the same thing with all of us i think that there's this really funny i i can't quite understand how and i think it's because of of what i do of sharing you know intimate bits of my life but i don't understand how people get online and see a photo on somebody's instagram or a handful of photos and they think that they know that person or they think that they understand them or that they know their position or where they're coming from or what their personality is like. Because really, people online can be anything that they want you to see them be. Like we we really can manipulate as much as we want. And, and those of us that try to be super duper straightforward and honest, we still can't share every second of every day with you from our perspective and, and even then, even if we could, we can't show you what's in our brains and we can't show you, like, we can't, it, it's just impossible to know somebody and to think that you understand everything about them by watching their online accounts. It's just impossible. It's impossible to know them even by talking to a family member or a friend or even maybe a spouse. Like, you just, you just don't know, you can't judge somebody's choices based on that. And so... It, it's so stressful to me because I feel like I want to talk about things that are super important and but I'm like oh but I have this thought and that aspect and I've, I've never actually really talked about anxiety on my blog and so this has to like cover all the different facets of my anxiety and what I've dealt with and how it happened and where I've gone with it and what I can do to treat it and what you guys can do to treat it and what it might be like for you versus me and all these different things I feel like I can't just say I have a really hard time and I have a really strong case of severe anxiety that makes my life really, really hard for these reasons. We'll talk about it later. Goodbye. Like I can't, I, I just can't bring myself to do that. And so I don't post anything. And that's what's been happening for the last few years is when I go, you know, three weeks or four weeks uh, on my blog or when I go a week or two or more on Instagram, it's because I, it's not because I don't have anything going on in my life. It's because I want to share so much and I feel this pull that because every time I share something, there's positive things that happen from that. People say, say great things or they say how it's helped them or they say that they're not, you know, they don't feel so alone or something like that. And I, so I feel like a responsibility, um, even if I didn't want to, I feel like I, I need to because I can help people and we all have something that we can do to like contribute to a better society and a better world and all right we are going to find a different spot to talk in hold on maybe i can lower this down a little more no all right we're gonna back up a little even more uh -oh. shut up so there aren't many times of day when i can sit in my car by myself but right now um Richard has the kids and the other babies are in school and so I'm gonna go with this a little bit longer but if this is something that is fun for you guys if you feel like we're, I'm able to share a lot this way um, if you'd like to see more of these style of videos just super like no mics this is my cell phone like um, <laughs> no great backdrops there's nothing going on here so if this is okay with you guys I mean seriously I'll I'll try to do these more I could maybe I could do these a few times a week or at least once a week or I don't know um, because I feel like if I can 
pick a topic, especially if I'm kind of wound up about something. This is just a really great way for me to kind of get it off my chest. And if it's helpful for one of you guys, then all the better. So I guess where I was going with that was just that I, I, when I say that I, like, I've really missed you guys and it's because you guys are a constant support to me. And when I say that I really wish I was posting more, um, it's very generous of those of you to say, it's okay, like, take a step back, you know, don't worry about it, like, don't make this a priority. I don't see social media as, like, a need in my life. These funny things are, like, sticking out. I don't see this as something that I have to do, but I see it as a huge part of my support system um, because I do have a lot of friends in real life that I don't share on here because I don't they either don't want to be on camera or they you know request not to be or i don't want them to get you know weird followers and weird questions because people want to find out because that happens all the time believe it or not um if i have a meeting with like an influencer friend who also does online stuff then i tag them because um i like you guys to see people that i'm with and people that i love and people that i support and um, but yeah, I don't really, I don't really ever tag my family and I don't really ever tag any other real life friends because some of them don't even have Instagram accounts, which is awesome. And I also have had enough weird people like go to my siblings that, um, one time my sister got this weird follower who just was drilling her with informa for information and she was like, what's going on? I don't understand. And I had tagged her in an Instagram picture and... So I don't really do that anymore because I would rather just spare, like they didn't sign on for weird followers and they didn't sign on for, you know, all this like unwanted attention. And so I want to keep this separate from and kind of protect them, if that makes sense, from any sort of spotlight that they didn't ask for. So I try to never show other people's faces without their permission. I try to always block out, um, you know, other children and other people that are around um, so that they're not exposed because again, people didn't ask for it. This is something that I decided to do and it's a very personal private decision. So, so for people to say step back, you know, that, that is a great idea normally. And I would, I would definitely recommend that. And, and these stresses that I talk about do get less when I back off. Um, I can just drop it instead of saying, I really wish I could post this photo, but I can see that it will be controversial for this reason or that people will misunderstand what I'm trying to convey with this caption. And so I just, I fret about it and then I just don't post it because that's easier. And then, but then I'm not sharing anything and I'm not getting the support from you guys and the friendship from you good people that because I'm worried about what the naysayers will say. And, um, you know, I think that it is really a shame and I'm trying to fix that and be better. And I'm not saying this because I want sympathy or anything like that. I'm just, I'm not making excuses either, but, but I guess I'm, I feel like I'm past the point when people can say, take a break and why don't you take a, take a, you know, take some time off because I've taken time off and I've taken a lot of time off and it's been three and a half years since my husband was diagnosed with terminal cancer. Um, just going to say that. Um, I mean, if you guys haven't watched any more of my videos, that, that's a long story, but um, it's been, that's been a long time. And I started taking my breaks back then and I've taken big breaks since then, like months long breaks. And, and I take them because I didn't have a choice. Um, a lot of the time I just couldn't touch my phone for weeks. And, and honestly, those were really hard because I really, really, really needed that support when I felt alone. And there'd be times when I was, I don't, I don't like bringing everything back to this, but it's such a huge part of, of the person that I am now. And it's, it explains a lot of the, the factors that are in my personality now. And so I feel like it comes up a lot and I'm sorry if it does too much. Um, but I, when I couldn't update you guys and couldn't talk to you guys, um, I could still go back and look at old sweet messages cause there was just, and still is just so, so many, but um, but it's not about validation. It's not about like, do these pants look good? Oh yeah, they look good. Okay, sure. Like that stuff is fun because I feel like that's something I would say to my friend. Like, how do you feel about you know, like that post they did? Like, how do you feel about high-waisted jeans? You know, like I would ask my friend that. And so I ask you guys that because I'm curious about what other, you know, so many of you are moms, so many of you are my age, so many of you have young children like me. Um, and even if you aren't, like, I just feel like, like we're definitely a community of people that 
that really, you know, we're good humans and we're good people and we really want the best for each other ultimately. And, and if you're in my tribe and you really don't feel that way about other people, I know that there are those of you out there and that's fine too. If this is purely entertainment for you, then that's fine. If it makes you smile, that's fine. Um, but what I'm saying is that, that social media isn't about validation. It's about friendship and about support. And I know that it might sound funny to, um, I know I talked to, uh, this cute older lady about how I had, you know, all these friends that I'd met online and, and, uh, she was like, but how is it friends if you've never met them? And it's hard to explain to, to older generation because there are some people that I follow some bloggers that I'm, I could say are like really, really good friends and we've never met in person. And, and that is weird. Maybe, maybe really weird, but it's, it's so amazing to finally meet those people in person because you can, you know, connect that way. But I see it as like a long distance relationship. I mean, like, like, it's just like a friend in my mind that you don't get together with for a long time and you don't see them for a long time, but you talk a lot and then you get together and you are like, Oh my gosh, now we, you know, now we've like made this physical connection too. So seeing you guys in person and having you guys come up to me and say hello feels that way. Like we've been friends and I just haven't seen you in a really long time. Um, I love when I meet you guys in person because to me, it puts a face to the number. Um, and, and it puts a personality. I, I, one of you, one of you guys stopped me in, um, Costco yesterday and, and a lot of you, you guys apologize and say, this is, this is probably really weird. And I know that it probably feels funny for you, but I really love it. And I really appreciate it because for me, it's just, it's just a real life connection to somebody. And, and that person gets all of the credit for, for being the support that I've felt. And so it's just like, I feel like they are a representation of, of all the love and friendship that comes from my whole community. And so I just like give you guys hugs and it just makes me really happy to see you. Wow. I'm digressing a whole lot and I should probably wrap this one up, but I just, um, I guess in essence, I've been taking breaks for a long time. And so that sort of advice doesn't help super well right now, because if I need a break, believe me, I take breaks. Um, but along with breaks from the negativity and the, the like unfortunate aspect of the online stuff, um, also means I take a break from the positivity, which is more important and much more, uh, there's much, much more positivity than there is negativity. And so, so I feel like putting up with the negativity, um, for the sake of, of the friendship is usually what I try to do. And, and there is, um, you know, definitely some hard sides to blogging that I didn't realize would be a factor. And um, I can go into this, I can go into any aspect of this into more detail if you want. I definitely have a lot of questions that I never answered. Um, oh, I have a lot I want to say, but I feel like this is probably already 10 or 15 minutes long. Um, I wish there was something poetic to say or thought provoking to wrap up with, but, but I guess all in all, I just wanted to put this out there. I wanted to say hi to you guys and I wanted to um, just let you know that that breaks are not what I need. And when you get negative comments or, or messages from people, a break isn't what you need either. I feel like, and this is a very personal thing. Um, and again, I don't really act on it. So this is just something I want to put out there <laughs> because I'm trying to do better. Um, but I've seen recently a few friends that have been really affected by the negativity online. And so they back off, but things don't really get better. Like the people that are negative don't go away. And so when, when you back off, you are, um, losing the connection with the family and friends, you know, real life family and friends that you are connected with, and you're losing the connection with your community that loves you and supports you. And I feel like, um, if you can ignore those people and ignore the negativity, and ignore the naysayers and people that just want to bring you down um, because and and keep putting out what you love and keep talking about what you love and keep you know taking photos and sharing things that you love and I'm I'm what I'm trying hard to do is to to post anyways that's what I want to try harder to do I've actually set goals in the past recently one of my new year's resolutions this year was that I really wanted to spend more time on Facebook <laughs> and, and, um, I had a thing earlier where, I mean, I had something earlier where I was spending too much time on Facebook, um, 
like my personal Facebook, I was just burning time watching stupid videos like that they just play over and over one after the other. I was watching stupid videos. I was not like talking to anyone. I was just wasting time reading weird articles and stuff like that. But I wanted to spend more time on, on like my Facebook talking to people. Like I wanted to spend more time answering emails and, and answering comments and, and, and acknowledging that support better because there's always so much that I can't, um, acknowledge. And I wish I could individually. I feel like when I go to comment on somebody's, um, image and they already have a lot of comments, I'm like, Oh, I don't have time. And I scoot by, but I really need to try because that comment that I leave might be the one thing that just like tips the scales towards them having a better day and you never know and I've I've written posts about this before but like you never know when that one comment and I know that because um, this funny hair I know that because that's happened for me so many times where where there will be a lot of of good awesome you know incredible messages from you people but there will be that one that will just say the right thing it'll jog my brain and I'll say you know what they're right and and I am better than that, and I and I can do better than that. It really does change my attitude, and um, and one comment can really turn your day around. And so, oh, there's a fly in here. Get out, go fly. Anyways, um, I think that's all. I think I better wrap up. But I'm gonna call this a car vlog just a bunch of random thoughts, but I feel like this is kind of like a family meeting or something. I feel like this is our point when I can just kind of rant. So I'm sorry if this was not interesting to you. You didn't have to watch the whole thing. And if you've reached this point and you're frustrated that you did, you don't have to, you don't have to participate. This is not obligatory. So I love you guys and I really, really appreciate you guys. And I want to do more because it's good for me. I want to post more because it makes me feel good. It makes me happy because I see my Instagram and my blog as my journals that I'm recording my life and I feel like those are hugely important to me. Making videos, um, I've said this before a few times probably, but but when my husband died, my late husband Martin, my biggest regret was that I did not have more videos of our family together. And that was the only thing that I really regretted. I didn't regret that I had, you know, taken our time for granted or that we hadn't traveled or that we hadn't done all these things because we really had a wonderful life together. But I wish that I had more videos. I just didn't have enough videos. And I'm, I'm lucky I had all the photos I did because of my blogging. It may just take so many pictures. And so I'm really lucky that way. But, but take more videos and take more photos. And if your Instagram is your journal, then bloody share the photos and don't care about what anybody says and post 30 in a row. And if people want to unfollow you, then go ahead and unfollow. Like, don't worry about it. I'm saying this for me as much as for you guys. Um, be yourselves and do what you want to do. And, and right now I say this, but right now I am holding back a lot of ways because I'm trying to take care of other people and make other people comfortable. And there are a lot of aspects of my life right now that I am not, I do not feel free because I want other people to be comfortable and I want other people to be, you know, I'm putting them first and, and their wishes and desires first and, and my friendship with them it matters more to me than than me having my way and me doing what I want to do. So I'm telling you guys to be yourselves and I'm I'm not totally being myself. And that's something I need to work on and I need to figure out a way to fix that so that I can really feel free to be who I need to be and to write what I need to write and um, I'll get there. But thank you guys for watching and um, I guess I'm supposed to tell you to subscribe or something like that. I would love it if you did, if you're not already because it's really encouraging for me to put out more videos and, and uh, again, sharing stuff just feels good. That's why therapy is a thing because just getting stuff off your chest is, is part of, you know, we have all these thoughts that go through our crazy brains, especially if you have some, some of the issues that I do and you just have like 50 conversations going open. Um, I mean, going on at once, or I guess open, I was thinking about how you have, you know, your brain, um, what do they talk about? having like 40 tabs open at once. Somebody said, I don't know how you have that many tabs open. And I said, oh, that's just one window. And I showed them that I had seven tabs with about 30, seven windows with about 30 tabs. So anyways, you guys don't need to know that. Uh, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.